Greetings, sir uh, and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Alathrix. And of course, welcome to a bit of a quicker video than usual. Today, sadly, has been utterly insane. There was a leak above the apartment where I live in, which caused the fire alarms to go off, which required the landlord to come in and basically rip apart half of our apartment's roof. It was a whole thing, and all day has been really, really stressful with that and a few other things. So, I want to unwind and do a bit of a speed build. Now, I haven't really done a small just build for sheer fun in ages in From the Depths, and I had an idea which I think is going to help me out in our current build with the space station. What I would like is a super easy to control, tiny little space pod, a little spacecraft which has only player controls. It is not controlled at all by AI, except for PID to keep it stable. That way I can just go about my business building around the space station because honestly, moving around in space with the avatar is a little bit clunky. It definitely is one of the more clunky things within the game, and it's not really something I particularly enjoy. So having a fun alternative is definitely very, very welcome. So how we're going to do this is, of course, we're going to be using the... If I can see them, the ion thrusters. We're going to have a really basic engine, and we're going to have the craft completely stabilise itself. However, the caveat there is I want to be able to roll if I want to. I want to be able to do a barrel roll. I want to be able to do tricks with the craft if I so desire, which is going to take a little bit of control block work because otherwise the craft is just going to always try and write itself and not really listen to me, which isn't what I want. So first of all, I don't want to be in ship controls right now. Let's go over to space... Yeah, there we go. Those controls will do. By spacecraft controls, I meant to say just plane controls. And let's have a quick example of how this is even going to work. Shouldn't have put down four beams, really. I should have just built this with regular metal. Uh, should I build this out of light alloy? Probably. As you can tell, I am really running out of time straight away this time. Because it is already 2am. Just realised as well, the uh, music settings were a bit loud there, so I do apologise. That should now be fixed. I had it still set to Stellaris. So what I was going to do is very, very quickly just put down an RTG, put down an electric engine... Uh, let's pop it, I don't know, there, that'll be fine. And then just a couple of batteries, don't really need much power here. Sure, and then we'll pop down the ion thrusters. I just want to make sure all the controls are there by default, if we just use the standard controller. Okay, rolling works, I mean, that was the easy one, honestly. Pitch should work as well. Yep, this is why we'll need to be able to stabilise automatically, because otherwise this will be an absolute nightmare to control. But yeah, being flung into space... Leaving the world behind. Sometimes, you know, you just look at the world and you think, you know what? Just put me on this spaceship. Okay, well that definitely works and that's lovely because that means I don't have to mess around with the actual control scheme. <laughs> Still need to uh, mess around with the AI quite a bit, most likely, but at least no control messing ups. So, this shouldn't really be too difficult. And I want it to be quite small, though. Uh, the smaller I can make this, the better. I'm probably going to have to um, really scale down the power of the ion thrusters. This has the potential of being a really quick video. Or a really long video, I don't know. It's one of these builds, it could take five seconds, it could take several hours, I mean, to be fair. That is from the depths, in a nutshell. This would be so much easier if I was using a reference, but as usual, I'm just kind of winging it. Glass about there, then we'll stop the glass here, we'll reinforce that. It doesn't really matter if that's a beam and that's not, this isn't going to be used in combat ever, so I don't really care. Ooh. Not much headroom for me here, but that's kind of the point. Uh, definitely want the vehicle control a little bit lower though, so I'm just going to go da da da. Sure. Uh, do I want the front here to be glass as well? You know what? Sure. If this is going to be all about being on the uh, player's perspective. Let's have the glass a little bit lower down. Ooh. Yep, quite like that. So I've tried to make the cab a bit more distinct from the rest of the craft, and I kind of want to continue that. Okay, maybe it's a bit too big. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a bit larger than I originally envisioned, but that's absolutely fine already. I don't mind. Sure. I kind of would like this to come out a bit further as well, at least just here. Now, of course, I could use um, decoration blocks and such, but for now, I'd like everything to be physical, and then we can add stuff later or remove stuff as we want. I do not like that at all, and that's the essence of my building. Trying about a million different things, disliking them all, and then eventually settling on the least bad. Now, that is a mood. 
yeah, not a fan of the sides there at all. So I'll just continue back and then I'll see how it's going to look as I finish a bit more of it. Yeah, I'm actually not even liking that particularly because it looks too much like it's connected. Um, how about if we extend it a little bit further then? Like so. So all of this will extend one further out, then go back in near the end. Then if I add some uh, fins to the side, it'll hopefully look a bit more... Natural? Maybe? Can I stop getting the wrong block every single time? That'd be wonderful. Yeah, then we do this. You see, this is the stuff I normally cut out because there are normally hours and hours of me just going, No, 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 no. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to use um, decoration blocks because these rudders, which I never use, are kind of perfect, but just way too small. Also, I just realised, if this thing's meant to land anywhere, then the bottom's going to be either somewhat flat or have some landing struts, which I don't particularly want. Um, kind of looks like a really, really scary cat-mouse hybrid at the moment, which is always a good thing. I mean, who doesn't want a scary cat-mouse hybrid when it comes to your flight needs? Yeah, if I just use Mimics or a decoration block here, I can just drag that back and I wouldn't need to do anything with the blocks themselves. Yeah, that's what I'll do for now. I don't have time to mess around with decorations too much, but that is kind of necessary. So something like that, and then just a straight section, only a small straight section afterwards, perhaps add a bit of colour to it. Yeah, that's nice and easy to do, we'll do that next. Could add way more detail, but that's all I'm going to do with that for now. We still need to make this thing functional. Okay, like that. Oh, I've used the wrong material. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry. It really doesn't matter. I can change the material later. Space station's drifting away slowly in the distance. And then I'll add one more triangle here just to give the end a bit more detail. Uh, should it be a bit more elongated than that? Or should it be all stumpy-like? I quite like it all stumpy, honestly. I think the end's going to just be like here anyway. Uh, probably like here-ish. Yeah, bring it in. Maybe I'll bring it in one earlier. So let's remove this, remove... Uh, okay, I'll paste you before I remove you. Bring it in. Actually, no. Let's... Leave it for now. And we'll see. Oh, they mismatch so badly, but I don't care. Right now, we don't have time for this. But yeah, outside of the mismatching textures, I really like that, but I don't have time because just getting that little bit done with the decorations took way too long. So I kind of want ones here as well, but I think right now, since they are going to be decoration blocks to actually add to the mass or anything, I need to just finish the actual structure itself, the physical blocks, so that I can make the thing functional. Functionality needs to come first now. Well, I've made this very, very stumpy, but you know what? Too bad, it's going to be in my stumpy little craft of stumpiness. Wow, the station has gone really far away now. Oh, I didn't turn off its AI. Well, that might explain that. So to hide quite a few things, what I think I'm going to end up doing is putting a lot of the thrusters essentially on the sides of the craft. The problem is that's going to be imbalanced. Yeah, I want the centre of mass way further back so we can put more at the butt of the craft. So the front can stay relatively unblemished, except for what I've already had to put there. Because since I do want this thing to be able to move backwards as well. Whee! Which at the moment, you don't really want to do. If I let go, that should lock into place. At least close enough. Yep, that's good enough for now. So that's how we're doing altitude. I've essentially replaced that controller with the, uh, with the um, complex controller. This is a really old-fashioned way of doing things. I'm fully aware of that. I don't have time to make this more elegant. But essentially what it means is I'm not in direct control of the thrusters, but I am in direct control of this little old-fashioned PID. So if I press up, the PID itself is changing its setting. Which means when I let go, it's going to lock wherever I stop at any given time, because it's going to constantly not want to go past wherever I'm setting it, so it won't overshoot by much. It probably will by a little bit, but yeah, only by like a couple of meters at most, in that case three meters, which is nothing in the grand scheme of thing. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So that's how I'm going to control my altitude, and then pitch, I'm going to do pretty much the same. Oh, that'd be cool. No, I think pitch and roll should automatically try and keep me like this, but allow me to change it manually if I so desire, but still go back to being like this just for ease of use. Yes. Yes. I sound confident, so I can make you all believe I'm confident, because I totally am. 
So I've been messing around a lot with pitch and, and roll, and honestly, despite the fact I would love them to have more controls, I think, honestly speaking, just letting the PID control them is best. I think I'll still give myself a little bit of manual control over them, but I'm not going to override them. I just feel like I'm going to lose control otherwise, and this is meant to be an easy way to get around. So, turning forwards and backwards, and altitude are completely under my control, no help there at all from the AI. I think the PID on the other hand is going to have full control with minimal input for pitch and roll. It's a bit depressing to have that option, but uh, it's easy enough to fix. I mean, if I ever want to change it, it takes like two seconds to change it, but I think that's what I'm going to go with. I'm also going to change the controls from earlier because they were really um, unintuitive. Perfect. Not moving it forward or backwards at all when it does that. Lovely. So there's the bare minimum um, pitch controls I'm going to give myself. It's all manual, I can do that and that. But then if I let go, it will try and fix itself. Right now we don't have roll controls, hence why we're slowly rolling out of control. But this way, if I do want to go particularly quickly, I can pitch in order to give myself a speed boost. And I've also set it so the AI doesn't have full control over all the thrusters, so I do have slightly more control than the AI. So, a bit of a middle ground there. In theory now, I should have complete control over the craft. So, manual pitch will be absolutely fine, then I'll let go and it should snap back. Lovely. Left and right. Which currently won't snap back, um, that's how I actually want it at the moment. Altitude, so we increase it, we let go, we can decrease it. Lovely. And then move forwards, which I think might have a slight pitching issue, let's see. Uh, yeah, really slight. As long as it doesn't change the altitude, though, that'll be fine. Yeah, no problem at all. We're quite slow. This is with our engines, by the way, currently on one quarter power, just because I'm nervous for this first run. Our altitude is still stable, though, so that's all that really matters. Okay, gonna slow down now. I'm gonna god mode everything just in case. Oh, I can't god mode my own ship. That's good because I have no AI. Okay, let's see if we can pretend to land on the top. It's gonna be really difficult because the station's moving as well still. I'm just allowing myself to have a little bit of speed here. I'm gonna kind of like strafe into position. Oh, here's a floor. I can't look down. Hmm. Which way is it even moving? It's hard to tell that with that station being the shape it is. It may be the best are gone, but because of that I can't tell which way it's bloody well going. I am really weirdly tense right now. By the way, there's no way we can properly land on this because I don't have any landing pads or anything, but... Oh, I'm being so careful. I keep on, like, raising our altitude just in case. Oh, slow down, slow down. Okay, let's do a quick sharp turn. Oh my god, for like a half an hour build this is fine, but oh... Stop pitching up me. Yep, I can't as a successful landing. I mean, that was as soft as it, as it was going to be without rubber or anything else, but yep, there we go, we landed. Let's uh, repair ourselves, shall we? Using the power of magic. So things I need to do when I have more than five seconds to alter it. Uh, first thing is, when I move forwards and backwards, it'd be nice if it automatically slowed itself down or sped itself up to make it stable again, because right now it's very difficult to just stop moving altogether because welcome to space. There is no friction and no one can hear you slow down. Um, on top of that, I think changing the control scheme would be really beneficial because I keep on getting confused there. Right now it's T and G for up and down, sorry, for forwards and backwards. See, I'm getting confused right there. It's Y and H for up and down, and then the arrow keys for left, right, and pitch. If I pitch all the way upwards like this, look at this, what do I start flying to space? Whee! And that's really that. So, I mean, other than that, I mean, those are some minor things to change. Really, really minor. And it's not that difficult, actually, just to, to completely stop anyway. Or at least, mostly stop. Yeah, it would be actually very easy to set it so it just stayed completely still uh, once you stopped, but that's a little bit too much than I have time for right now. For something that's took 40 minutes, you know, I'm happy enough with this. Especially since actually I had to relearn some mechanics. And then into space we go, leaving the station behind. At a quarter speed, you know what, let's uh, put it to max. I've got a horrible feeling like it's going to pitch horribly with this, but again, small things.
Oh, actually, that pitch is really mild, and as long as it doesn't change our altitude, which it doesn't, oh, that doesn't actually matter at all. It just means we're doing a wheelie in space. 78 meters per second, we could go much faster than that by adding a few more thrusters. Control is still exactly the same as it was going slow, so there we are. And now much faster. The little shuttlecraft. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, oh god, that was close. <laughs> Likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff. Helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. This would actually be really easy to convert into some kind of combat craft, to be completely honest, because the AI would have to do very little outside of what I've already done. Just give it some weapons, make it so it does a proper attack run, and there we go, we've got a little fighter craft. Maybe I'll make one of those in the future as well, but today's been a good learning experience, and honestly, it's just been loads and loads of fun. That's surprisingly easy to control. I mean, I stopped it then, really quickly. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Um, I may finish it off if people like this design and make all those changes I already mentioned, but, you know, for a quick craft, I had a lot of fun. Really, really loads of fun. I'm having loads of fun in From the Depths in general again at the moment, so, have a lovely day, do take care, and until next time, look to the stars.